Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a really quick video to show you my July wrap up of all the books that I read in July as well as my August to be read pile. So the first couple of books that I read in July were from the library. The first was If I Stay by Gail Foreman and this one I gave three out of five stars. Next I read Kazi by Lewis Naura and I gave that three out of five stars. Then I read For You by Ian McEwan and I also gave that three out of five stars. I then read Where She Went by Gail Foreman and I gave that one out of five stars. And then I read The Minor Adjustment Beauty Salon by Alexander McCall Smith and I gave that three out of five Five stars. I then read The Fictional Woman by Tara Moss and I absolutely loved this and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Then I read some more books in the library. I read Summer of the Aliens by Louis Naura, which I gave 2 out of 5 stars, and Language of the Gods also by Louis Naura, which I gave 1 out of 5 stars. Then I read Let's Explore Diabetes with Owls by David Sedaris, which I gave 3 out of 5 stars. Then I read Tom Stoppard's Plays. This includes The Real Inspector Hound, After Marguerite, Dirty Linen, Newfoundland, Dogs Hamlet, and Cahoots Macbeth. I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read The Best Poems Ever, a collection of Poetry's Greatest Voices edited by Edric S. Mesmer and I gave this 3 out of 5 stars. Then I read Winnie the Pooh by A. A. Milne and I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read District and Circle by Seamus Heaney which I gave 3 out of 5 stars and I read Ariel by Sylvia Plath which I gave 5 out of 5 stars. I then read The Elements of Style by Strunk, White and Kalman. This is the illustrated edition and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Then I picked up The Best Australian Poems of 2010 edited by Robert Adamson and I gave that 5 out of 5 stars. Next I read The Little World of Elves and Fairies, an anthology of verse with illustrations by Ida Rentoul Uthwaite and I gave this one 3 out of 5 stars. Next I picked up this collection of plays by John Arden. This included The Waters of Babylon, Live Like Pigs and The Happy Haven and this I gave 4 out of 5 stars. Then I picked up The Domesticity of Giraffes by Judith Beveridge which I gave 3 out of 5 stars. Next I picked up Teacher Man by Frank McCourt and I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. And then I picked up Sons and Lovers by D.H. Lawrence which I gave 2 out of 5 stars. And then this was the last book that I read from the library. This was New Selected Poems 1957 to 1994 by Ted Hughes and I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read Terminus by Mark O. Rowe which I gave 5 out of 5 stars. Picked up The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells which I gave 3 out of 5 stars. Then I read The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey and I gave that 4 out of 5 stars. Then the last book that I finished in July was The Etymologicon by Mark Forsyth which I gave 5 out of 5 stars. The last book I picked up in July was Women of Letters curated by Marie Hardy and Michaela Maguire. Um, hopefully I will finish this in the month of August. I'm about halfway through it now and I'm um, really enjoying this one. In August, I'm going to be starting my second semester of uni for the year, so I have some books that I have to read for class. I have plenty more than this, but these are the only ones I've purchased so far. So I have to read The Engagement by Chloe Hooper, For the Term of His Natural Life by Marcus Clark, The Well by Elizabeth Jolly, and then for another class, I'm reading As I Lay Dying by William Faulkner and Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. But in amongst all of that uni reading, I'd also like to be doing some reading of my own. So I'm not sure if I will read all of these or if I'll read even more than these, but I'd like to get to these in August. The first is The Battle Hymn of the Tiger Mother by Amy Chua. Chua? Not sure how to say that. Death Sentence, The Decay of Public Language by Don Watson. And The Opposite of Loneliness, Essays and Stories by Marina Keegan. So I read heaps of books in July and that's mostly because I participated in the Cramathon Readathon over four days earlier this month. So I'll link all the information about that down below if you want to watch those videos to see which books I read during the Cramathon or which ones I plan to read. I don't think I'll be reading nearly as many books in August but I'd like to give it a shot and who knows. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.